Hi, Maggie. Yeah. Hi, Jen. Welcome back. Yeah. Um, start of a new season, or sort of a new pre-season yeah. at the very least, and start of a new era for you as well, here permanently to get, get your hands on what's going on at Wolves. Yeah, I think uh, it's the first time for me to, to actually move here, yeah, move here to stay here, and this, now it's 100% uh, of my job. I'm very committed, you know, and uh, in last season, and uh, I always thought, okay, and uh, maybe I, I was only 40%, 50% committed, it's not good enough. And so for the success of the club, especially for long-term success, I have to be very, very committed here. So, so I, I came and I will live here every day together with the, the team. Yeah. How much of a difference do you think it will make you being able to be here and make those key decisions as and when it's needed? I have to see everything. I have to talk with the players, the coach, to see everything, to, to watch every game, to communicate with the fans, everything. Because when you are here and you know everything and it's, your decision will be very quick and you can have some feeling. It's very good and very important for the feeling about the club. If you are in China, okay, you can, you can WhatsApp, you can, you can ring, but, but you have not the feeling. I think the feeling is very important to me to, to make every right decision for the club in the future. Yeah. Because I know you were frustrated at what happened on the field last season. You very much want more success on and off the field this year. I think it's not frustration. It's about, uh, okay, we can do better like that. I, we understand that the last season is very tough and because, because we, are, we, are, we are trying to build up a score. But uh, a strong score need more time. You need one, two, three more windows. And you can see some players like Helder, like Cavaleo, like uh, Saiz, they can in last season, but uh, for the season, we, we, we will try to get in more players. So I suppose maybe for the season, we will be more ready to, to really to challenge uh, for the promotion. Yeah. It's been a busy summer already. Yeah. You have a, a new head coach and a new coaching structure in place around him as well. How confident are you that Nuno is going to be the man to achieve what you want? Yeah, I think uh, everyone can see the, the pedigree of Nuno and uh, he is from Champions League to Championship, so I think it's uh, the pedigree is very high for him. But the most important thing is that I have many chances to talk with him about the club, about the plan. I think he is working very hard and uh, also a very good, good guy. And um, and uh, more and more you 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 talk with him and you will feel more confident about him. So that's my my view about him. So I'm. Looking forward very strongly for he will bring us very good things to to come for the club. Has he already told you what he wants in terms of transfers for new players? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, we have a plan. We have a very clear plan, and uh, we communicate with him for every day. And uh, we talk about the plan for what position we want to get players and who who, who will come, who will go like that. So every day we are working very hard on on that but of course we cannot tell the fans now because it's a little bit uh, secret things to do but but of course and uh, we know what we are doing yeah because yeah, yeah. you have three already yeah. last season obviously you came in very quickly you had to work fast and brought a number of players in do you see this summer being similar in terms of numbers or are we going slightly differently this time uh, not actually because last summer we have no time we, we had no time we have only three weeks Four weeks to do all the things, and uh, and uh, but uh, for this window we have enough time. So the best way to do that is okay. You know what's the high priority for signing players, so you do it now. But uh, for some players, for some positions, you have to wait to see in the preseason for the training camp and uh, what about your current scores, whether some player they will step forward to take a position. So. I think that that's the right way to do all the business here, and uh, and we have still more time. We have still one or two two, two months. So, so I think uh, I'm not counting the numbers. The numbers don't matter very much, and uh, the the important thing is about the quality, about whether on some position we need a strong player to to come to help us for promotion. Because the the goal for the season is only about promotion. So the only goal for us is about to build a, a score to, to get a promotion for and, this season. Yeah. And you've always said yeah. there is money available, there is money there if you want to use it. 
Yeah, money is not a problem. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, the, the, the only tricky thing is about uh, financial fair play because I'm not a supporter for, for that, but uh, we have to think about it. But uh, in general, it, it's no problem. And uh, uh, we will focus on this season, this very s uh, season. We will not think too much about the long-term future. So the only thing is try to build a, a strong, very strong team for the season. There will always be players leaving as well as coming in. I think fans will accept that. It's quite a large squad. But yeah. there's one player in particular yeah. fans don't want to see go. You know who that is. Uh, you mean Helder? Yeah. Helder is my boy, so I don't want to let him go. So it's the first job for me to come here, of course. If I want, for me personally, for, for my job, for my career, if I want to have a good career here, my career is bound with held uh, very tightly, you know, so why why he should go? I said, I have to keep him, yeah. yeah. So are we in a situation where it, it's never say never, but you fully expect him to be here at the end of August? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's special for, for this season. He he cannot go. That's my view, and uh, I have to keep him. Yeah. Because he's so important for, for the squad, and he has spent one year here, and uh, also it's very important for him to, 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 to go to Premier League together with us and uh, of course there are some strong interests from other clubs of course but uh, my job is to, to keep him so I think he was here yeah. and you've seen the success of what can happen off the field with the season ticket offer I think it's the highest amount of season ticket holders since we were in the Premier League which is an incredible turnaround if you can continue that off the field matched with on it's going to be a big success isn't it yeah, I think the fans can see, and uh, Forsen, and uh, we, we are the owner to support the club very, very much, and uh, we have the the capability to invest, and uh, we are not saving money. You know, we have, the only thing in my mind is is go to pr uh, the Premier League. So, so if you see the ambition, if you see what we are doing now, what we are doing is actually equal to our ambition. What we are saying, right? So. If you can see, we are so consistent uh, to to what's our plan. I hope every fan can be supportive to, to us and uh, try to help us. And I think it's not about the box office for the for the stadium. It, it's it's not so so much compared with our investment. But the most important thing is about we have a we should have a full stadium. We should uh, support uh, the players for every game. You know, we have should uh, we, we should have a very good atmosphere and, and a very loud and uh, try to try to give our home game a very good environment and uh, inspire the players to play harder. So that's more important. So we are trying to find every way to 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 inspire the fans to come to our city. Yeah. So overall, are you positive now that you're here? Yeah and you have your management team yeah. in place around you. I know you've talked positively in the past about Kevin and Laurie and all of those yeah. who are in that management structure, yeah. that everything is in place now. Yeah, I think everything is in place. Uh, I have a very, very good uh, relationship with Laurie and Kevin, of course, and uh, they are doing good, a very good job. And uh, now we have a strong team because we have a very good co uh, head, the head coach, is very good, uh, we have a very good team here. And it's, it's a very international team, of course. Chinese owner, Portuguese coach, English team here. But I'm confident because that's why I have to come here. I, I'm the guy to lead the team to gel together and to have a strong team to move forward. Yeah.